Hello everyone, so I'm finally back home and I was able to go over all my edits. So before we talk about today's video, which is about recovery and me using the winch and all my other equipment, I wanna talk about, I wanna give you a little clip of what's gonna be on next video. I was able to finally go back to Sand Hollow and I climbed the Sand Mountain that's right next to Sand Hollow. I was there during Matt's offered records game last year. Okay, so here we go. Well, I can tell you tonight, somebody I hope you enjoyed this little clip. Okay, so now I want to show you today's video, which is about recovery. And so if you're if you've never used your winch or you've never you don't know what equipment, what steps you should be taking in order to not get stuck, or once you're stuck, what you should do and what equipment you should carry, that's what the next video is all about. So thank you for watching. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, here we are at Little Sahara now. This is the last, probably the last day before it starts snowing all over the place and we can't ride here anymore, it's too cold. Okay, we have a beautiful day, mid-November. Uh, I can see a little bit of snow right now. The sand will be wet in the corners where the shade is, but otherwise the sand is still soft. Uh, and today I would like to talk to you guys about recovery. Obviously the most important thing you can do for recovery is to not get stuck in the first place. To avoid getting stuck, well, first one, pick the right line, okay? When you're driving off-road, 
where you frame your tires, the uphill, the sideways, where it's, there's a hole, where there's no hole. All these things are very important. Picking the right line and having the right momentum needed to clear the obstacle, that is obviously the number one way of not getting stuck. The second way of not getting stuck, guys, well, it's deflate your tires. Even if you have a car, deflate your tires. Okay, deflating your tires expand, uh, prevents you from sinking down. It makes the ride more comfortable, and it will give you, it will allow you to form to the terrain, and so the tire is going to grip better. Okay, um, so that's what we're going to do right now, guys. We're going to deflate your tires. You can use. I like to use. I like to use to deflate my tires. I like to use these little guys right here. The you put them on and on the valve, and they automatically stop when you reach the pressure that you want. Um, also, after deflating your tires. Obviously, having a big 4x4 vehicle is a number is a big advantage, especially if your 4x4 has low range. Okay, uh, once you have a 4x4 with low range, well, you're gonna want to put a lift to be able to improve your approach and departure angle, but also your breakover angle over the center. And then once you relift your van and you have more high clearance, now you can put bigger tires, bigger all-terrain or mud-terrain tires. Okay, that's also gonna be a good way for you to prevent getting stuck. Well, the next step, guys, is having an air locker, okay? Having front and rear locking differential, most people only have the rear, and, and for the advanced sprinter vans, the only person that installs rear differentials really is uh, Aja Offroad, and they, they've worked with ARB, which is renowned when it comes to air lockers, and you can install a rear locker on this van, and this will be a great solution for you. Once you start feeling you're bogging down, you're already in 4x4 deflated, and you have all the everything activated, well, the thing that might allow you to get up over or back out is gonna be the rear locking differential. So that's also something that I highly recommend in order to prevent needing recovery, okay? So today we're gonna to talk about recovery. Uh, obviously, uh, if you're getting stuck, before you start uh, using the winch and you start pulling out all the equipment, okay? Try coming back out from where you came from, okay? Uh, most vehicles have a winch in the front. Ideally, if you were looking at expedition vehicles for the Dakar, the big trucks, they all have a winch in the rear. Um, you want to be you want to put it in reverse as soon as you start feeling like it's bogging down okay you don't want to put more uh, stress on the drivetrain and you don't want to bog down all the way to the frame and that's going to be a heavy recovery okay as soon as you start feeling like you're losing power and you're sinking put it in reverse and back out okay uh, if you're able to, to come this way you can probably get back uh, back out from the same way you came from okay uh, if that doesn't work you're still stuck then what I recommend doing at that point is if you haven't deflated your tires, you deflate your tires. Uh, if yes, you have already deflated your tires, then you're gonna start grabbing the traction boards that I have on top. Okay, those traction boards are awesome. They're super easy. You just dig a little hole and I'll show you. You dig a little hole and then you just place that. You can actually use the, the max tracks as a shovel and you place your max track from the front or the rear. Ideally, you have four, but two also works. And uh, if you have only two, put it in the rear and then you place them underneath and they will allow you to basically create a ramp and traction to be able to get out from where you came from. If the traction boards aren't working for whatever reason, okay, at that point, you're probably, that means you're probably buried to the frame, okay, and you're probably gonna need to winch. Uh, if there are trees around, well, that's great, or rock, you're gonna, you can use that as an anchor. Uh, if you want to, you want to put less stress. If you're really, really st stuck, instead of putting the line straight uh, to, uh, to an anchor, you can make it with a pulley and come back, and this will demultiplicate the force so your winch is stronger and is not putting as much stress on your, on your winch. Mm -hmm. But what if you don't have anchors? What if you're in the middle of the desert? Well, okay, in that case, no, there's no anchor point. You're gonna to have to use your own anchor. So the old school fashion way, we're talking about camel trophy, defend the way of recovery, is you grab your spare tire, you bury your spare tire, you connect the winch to your spare tire that's buried, and then use that as an anchor. That's a lot, a lot of work. And it doesn't work also if you have a spare tire that's underneath the van, uh, because then your spare tire is buried and you cannot reach it. Okay, you're gonna to have to dig a massive hole to reach your bare spare. So another way to do it, guys, is to use the old fashioned anchor that's in steel. That's too much work. No, it's too heavy. No one wants to carry that around. What I recommend buying is the Dead Amen Off-Road Recovery uh, Chute. And I'll, I'll show you in a few seconds. You dig a hole, you bury the chute, and then you can use that as an anchor. It will use all the weight and the inertia of the sand to be able to anchor you. And it takes no space, and that will allow you to make it up the hill. Um, if, you, if you, if for some reason, like now you're still stuck and you still need more, okay? Uh, well... Guys, I think at that point, you should just travel with someone else who can help you get out, okay? Okay, everyone, so here, so I want you to hear a few things, okay? So obviously, if you're going to deflate your tires, you're going to need some hose. This is a dual hose by Morflay to inflate two tires at the same time, which is great on Sprinter because we have the front that have the same pressure in the rear. 
Um, you don't need all four. Uh, these are the Coyote deflator valves. If you have the Apex, that's awesome. This, these, these, you put them on the valve and it just deflates and it stops. Tools, please carry some tools, okay? Look up the vehicle that you have and make sure you carry the proper tools for your vehicle. Emergency medical kits, okay? This is a trauma kit, okay? So that's for heavy bleeding and so on. There's a blood pressure. There is an oxygen um, monitor. There is everything you need right now. There's a tourniquet. There's, if you break your leg, there's what you need in there. Uh, this is just the first aid kit. That's obviously the beginning. You start with this and this will have everything you need like bandages and so on for small cuts and just like um, basic medication like Advil's and so on. Uh, the computer, okay? So you need a computer, especially if you have a, a modern vehicle like this, okay? Uh, an engine light in limb mode is, is terrible because it means that you have no turbo. You cannot go past 55 miles per hour. So being able to clear the code, the engine light, and, or and ideally you look at the code and replace it with the sensor. So this is a sensor for the air intake that will put you in limb mode. If, the, if you drive a long convoy, I highly recommend carrying that particular sensor, okay? It goes on top of the air box. And then also you can use this to be able to reset the engine oil if you're doing your own, own oil change. Uh, this is a kit for punctures on the, not on the sidewalls. Obviously this won't work, but just a nail that's in the, on the tire. And instead of having to put your spare in this, this will allow you to fix it. You pull the nail out and then you put this little rubber, um, padding inside and then it will basically uh, uh, seal the hole. Uh, I've seen people, there's a, a way to change the valves. If you have an issue with the valves, uh, I've had this before my old vehicles and actually it lasts the lifetime of the vehicle. So I highly recommend carrying something like this um shovels yeah now the small shovel like this this is not gonna work this is a little bit more serious it's not too bad this is for like uh avalanches uh i like that but i'm actually going to replace it with one that's even longer than this um your shackles okay here, here you need gloves okay gloves are very important this is a snatch block this is actually one that works with um, steel cables and ropes i highly recommend getting actually the snatch block that's now like aluminum cast it's just a wheel it's a lot lighter and it's just for uh, synthetic ropes, okay? Uh, shackles, you have the metal shackles that you saw on the you see on the front of the bumpers. These are soft shackles. These actually, these are by Factor 55, this one, and this is a Chinese brand. These, as you can see, this one is a lot thinner than this one. This and this actually have the exact same pulling power. So that's why you should buy from a name brand. Um, not, look, not go by the looks of it. This looks very strong and very thick, but actually this half inch shackle is as strong as this one. Okay, so please look at the pulling power, look at the label. Tree saver, if you're gonna carry a dead man off-road, ideally you're also gonna want a synthetic toe strap, okay? So another vehicle can pull you out. And this is an anchor uh, for from dead man off-road. If you have a winch, I highly recommend you buying this as well. Uh, you're not always gonna be in a situation where you're gonna be able to find a nice place to anchor yourself and, your, and then your winch is useless, okay? So this is awesome.